time as a professional with four victories against one lone defeat. De sangre tapatilla. Guadalajara, Jalisco, México. Axel, el charro. Osuna. San Francisco, California. The Silent Killer. David Solorzano. That perfect record. We are underway. USA versus Mexico. San Francisco versus Guadalajara. It is Solorzano in blue. Solorzano needs to use that footwork to get around. Excel's boxing has improved a lot. It's known for that submission game, but Solorzano has been training with champions who's competed in Abu Dhabi. That will come in handy, but that is what he needs to do. Angle, angle, movement, footwork. Because Axel will trade hands with you. Osuna, four professional wins, three via submission, one via TPO. So nothing goes the distance. His one defeat did go the distance back in June, losing the Reyes Cortez Jr. He talked about 103 in boxing. He's 5-0 in Muay Thai, and he's now 4-1 in MMA. He's a winner, and he fights a lot. Last time we saw Solodano with a victory against Raymond Rommel, known for his striking. Solodano's corner, having to pick him apart. That means that you're going to have to use that jab, cross, work the body, not just go for the head. Axel going to the ground, trying to go to the ground game already, man. Solazana showing strength, and you saw that one time Osuna went down. Solazana immediately says, get up. Not fighting. But again, that incredible boxing record. Osuna can beat you standing up, and certainly that's something that Maximiliano Gonzalez found out. That fight was in May, so a good like, three-month gap between fights for Osuna. Solazano, pardon me, Rodolfo, yeah. fighting for the first time since September of last year. He's on the feet and on the ground. Stop, stop, stop. Breaking the action. Good check. Good check from Axel. Checked it. Oh! That one got through. Under hooks and now we'll see that bring Solarzano down. And the corner of Solarzano. Get the wrestle and get back to your feet. This is where he did that camp. That's what he wanted to do, knowing he was fighting a uh, sufficient specialist. He trained with Abu Dhabi champions. You test yourself against those type of fighters, man. That just shows the improvement. You're ready for battle. Both these fighters having extensive camps to make sure the attention to detail in preparation towards there. We talked about the Abu Dhabi wrestlers, Axel Osuna. We also touched on fight camp in Las Vegas with Cobrinha BJJ. It goes to show you that they want to improve at every single level. They just don't stick to one camp. Yeah. Some gyms get a little, get a little jealous when you go somewhere else, but some of them are, hey, okay, fine, I understand. Then it's okay to go over there to test a little bit about that on this or that. Solarzano has not been able to get off the mat. Brought down there about 90 seconds ago, and this is where the fight remains. He's trying to get up on the back of Osuna. He's got a really good anchor. Solarzano tried, or is trying to get those legs over to look for a triangle. But Osuna's just so good. He may even go for a sign here if uh, the first one is still handy. Give it to pick him up. Control the rest. Still trying to get upright. Backside just uses his weight quite well. Now he gets here. a shot. Little ray of light, and he sees that Osuda changes levels, though. So does Sol Arzano. Kick that ankle. Takes the Rosano on her. A warning there for Marcos Perez about separating it. Under a minute to go here in this opening round. Solarzano drops his weight on Osuna. Trying to get some leverage, but he's back down again. And that, uh, that yell there, Max, is Fernanda Larios. 
girlfriend of Axel, who's competed in Combate Global. That is his, uh, her co his corner tonight. Well, now it, it, it looks like he's going to remain oh. on the ground. Solasano just needs to survive. 20 seconds to go. Some great elbow action from Axel. Suna's been so active Ooh. on the ground, and now he's got some lines of fire. Lesson learned for Solarzano, don't go to the ground with Asuna. But it's a lesson he'll learn to tell in round two. And for round two, fighters exchanging smiles as they get ready. Osuna looking to duplicate that game plan, maybe take it to another level, but I can imagine he won that first round. Glad you could join us here on a Friday night live on Paramount Plus, Max Bretos, Rodolfo Roman. So Larson needs to stick and move, stick and move, angle, footwork, very important here. Oh, oh there's Osuna showing his length, even though that was gonna be a disadvantage, you would think against the taller fighter. For those shots, Osuna wants to go for the finish, Max. Hard, strong. Ooh, look at that. Over, right, and. Osuna, who's uh, on his father's side, had a connection with law enforcement. That's where he kind of dipped his toe in the MMA. Open scoring, Max, that first round. No going surprise. straight to Osuna, yep. Just dominant on the ground for the last two and a half minutes. You know, we talk about ooh, good corners right letting their fighters know the scoring, but do the corner, does the corner tell Suna, hey, you gotta win in fashion here, because Moon is just one if you want that title shot. He's doing it. He is doing it. He's making Solo Zana look pretty average right now through a round and a minute 20. He's, he's feeling it too, getting to a nice groove. The ball falls into Sol Arzano's court. He did tell us, I want to show that I'm an intelligent fighter. And that's one thing, but you're dealing with a well-oiled machine who's really connecting. Great body work. Sol Arzano. Wild miss. Yeah. Usually when he throws wild punches like that, you're just desperate. Great jab, though, from Sol Arzano. Sol Arzano. Over top right. Sula doing everything he wants. Bobbing and weaving, feeling confident, left and catches the ribs, body shots delivered. Those body shots will break you down. Solar Sana looking to hit a reset button, possibly. It's not gone to plan. You gotta bring in that jab. He doesn't dare, but he needs to do it repetitively. Connect. Yeah, that's what the corner yeah, says. You gotta connect the jab and then footwork, footwork. Asuna being the aggressor, looking for that spot to possibly take this fight to the ground again. And I think that's what's in Solar Sano's head too. He doesn't want to be dragged into the those submission possibilities. Asuna's just waiting for that cross or a hook. And you heard the corner, Solar Sano. Back up circle, not straight. You have to angle. Zuna's gonna come right at you. Fighting out of Dragon House in San Francisco, a place that's created so many good fighters. Getting that extra training, knew this was gonna be his biggest challenge to date. That's a body shot. And his corner approves how to set it up. You gotta start somewhere. But as soon as you land that body shot, there Work it goes. The ankle. That one backed up. Osuna really for the first time tonight. Oh, easy takedown. Osuna going to the ground here. Well, let's see that work that he put for the Abu Dhabi champion. So that comes into play right here in the second round. I, I couldn't hear clearly, but I heard Osuna's corners questioning. I, I guess so. Osuna's. So Rosano's belt? Jiu-Jitsu belt? <laughs> He's a purple belt. I think that's what I heard. So that, that, that's fighting words. He does have a purple belt for <laughs> In other words, like, you're gonna put up your you're gonna put up your belt against his. We've seen it before, it works in pro wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, he's the trapped map. again. There it is. Osuna's now getting the back. 
Osuna, Osuna smells a win here. He may look for that rear naked. Johala's in the way, though. Laying in those punches. Was great positioning his body. Not allowing Solorzano to get out. It was really interesting because Solorzano had his first two impact punches. Osuna went back, and when he came back, took him down. Yeah. It was almost like yeah. he suckered him in. Yeah. He it worked him right there. He fed into it. Oh, man. You saw how Solorzano had his hand in the back. Great position for Osuna to strike. Oh. Solorzano will see him a third round, but he is going to have to dig deep to keep his unbeaten record. And it'll come down to this. Solorzano. Uh, yeah, a little. Uh, it took us a time to get up. Yeah, he has been uh, worn out. Let's take a look at the highlights. Great overhand right, follow through with a cross. Again, exchanges. Solorzano, though, landing some shots to the body. Kick from Osuna. Great bobbing and weaving, great boxing. Another overhand. I mean, this man is just unstoppable. Fishes, and then a single with well, a double deck takedown. Grappling in here towards the end of the round, softening up Solorzano. However, he didn't have enough time to do this fight. As Solorzano lives to the third round. We are back. Axel Osuna bouncing around in front of his corner. A confident, confident fighter. He wants the clean sweep. He wants that finish, Max. Yeah, he does. Oh, and he comes oh. in with that left hand. Big he mistake. Has... Yeah, so it's not a big mistake, though, as he crunched down. He wants to break down the will of Solarzano, and this is a different Solarzano than we have seen in previous fights, man, a, a year ago. Maybe that's part of the equation. I think I don't want to take anything away from Axel Osuna. He has just been energized on his toes, has not put one step out of place. So Lozano is very patient. He needs to push the pace. He needs to break the fight to Osuna. Well, it's both fighters really push the uh, the title of being an intelligent fighter. Say what Solarzano said. Osuna said, I, I consider myself an intelligent fighter. By the way, I've never had a fight go to decision. One of us will finish the other. There is no other way. Well, he has four minutes to make that ring true. He won the second round in our official story. Top, 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 top. Marcos Perez will break it up. This right here favors Osuna. He needs to be fierce. Solorzano hasn't got it. His corner is really now urging him on. Yeah, he's forcing Solorzano to fight, to throw. He's calling him in. First two wins for Solorzano were first round knockouts. So he's capable. Those arms are just stopped. And that is the work of Osuna. And if you take a look at that fight against Raymond Ramos, it's very similar. Even Ramos was telling him, let's go, throw, throw. So Rosano needs to be, stop being patient. He needs to let them hands go. We have three minutes to go. David Martinez, is the Bantamweight champion. Number one is Franz and Lambo, the Irishman who has been inactive. Number two, Kevin Cordero. We saw the number three in Leo Dogadio Muniz. Solar Sano's four, Osuna's seven. And Osuna, with this performance, to my guess, will jump a bunch of those guys. Oh, blood on the good. top of the head. I don't know if he caught that from a shot, from an elbow. Oh, boy, now here is Osuna. Yeah, Osuna's he wants to finish it, and here's his chance. Osuna knows where that blood's coming from. He's going to attack it like there's no tomorrow. Well, the expression sees blood. That's exactly what Osuna just did, literally, trying to get through the guard. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Yeah, I think, that, I think he came from an elbow. He's broken the will of Solarzano. Solarzano just wants to survive at this point. I don't think there's any designs of a uh, miraculous comeback. He has two minutes unless he pulls some sort of an arm bar submission or that's triangle. A, that's Osuna's game. Yeah, he has all the cards right now. If he, if he knows how to apply it, I'm sure he knows how to defend it. So Solarzano's in a tough position here. Not doing much. 
Oh, and it's smart. And maybe just referee a moment away. Might, referee might step in. Rear naked. Rear naked opportunity here. You gotta love the fight by Solanzano. He doesn't want to be submitted. He doesn't want this fight to be stopped. Referee just warned to Lorzano, you need to do something That's stopping it. it. There it is. That's just magnificent yeah. from Osuna. He wanted to finish. He didn't have to be aggressive in this third round. The fight was won. El referee Marcos Pérez detiene la contienda con un tiempo oficial de 3 minutos 38 segundos del tercero y último asalto. Referee Marcos Pérez stops this contest with an official time of three minutes, 38 seconds of the third and final round, declaring the winner by way of technical knockout, declarando el vencedor por knockout técnico. De sangre tapatía, el charro, Axel Osuna. Back-to-back -back wins to improve to five and one. All right, Rodolfo, who do you get the nod to?